WUB Network, America's sports leader. It's the Liberty Mutual Truck Series Race 2 from the Daytona Road Course. Eddie Kalegi here. Let's send it over to Vince Welch and Trip McGinnis. Eddie, thanks so much. We are ready for race two after a wild race one at Daytona. That's our trip, son. Skip in victory lane, and now we get road course racing. Yeah, and I mean, there's a lot of drivers who got knocked around in that race. Grant Enfinger, Chandler Smith, Zane Smith, all championship contenders. They want to get back on track before they fall too far behind. And as we said, trip, your son was in victory lane. Yeah, I got to celebrate with him. That was so awesome. Well, it's our only road course race of the season, trip. Yeah, this is going to be very interesting to see how these drivers navigate. Last season, they had a race at Zebro in the rain. It was a mess. A lot of inexperienced kids in a road course. Could be chaotic. This should be very exciting to see. 11 drivers lined up for the start. First ever time any of these guys have run the Daytona road course. Todd Gilliland on the pole. Skip McGinnis starting towards the back. So a little trouble here on the pace laps. Yeah, it looks like a Wooji messed up there and he got into Andy Lally. Andy can't be too happy. The green flag is out and we are trucking on the road course. Oh, trouble already for Creed. Sheldon Creed almost hits the wall in turn one. He goes to the back. Now they come through the hairpin for the first time. It's double files dangerous. Oh, we got another spinner. Andy Lally into the back of a Wooji. He's around. He gets back going. Now on the back stretch chicane for the first time, and we got problems. Oh no, Skip, what you doing? Skip McGinnis has just run into the barrier in the chicane. Big hit. Let's look back at a replay. Well, you see Gillen gets the whole shot first. Chris Wright try to follow him, hit Sheldon Creed. Nice job by Sheldon to woe it down, not hit that wall. Then they're going double file through this hairpin. This was dangerous in the Daytona Derby back here. And you see Andy Lally, I guess, got his retaliation and a Wooji for the pace lap. Then right here, and Finger kind of gets chopped by Zane Smith, and Skip had nowhere to go. Very unfortunate. Skip won at Daytona, and the Oval will finish last on the road course. He's not too happy with Grant and Finger, and Sheldon Creed is also in the pits with damage. Coming to halfway. Oh, nice run by Chandler Smith. He gained a lot in the chicane right there. Let's see what he can do in this last one. Looks high back low underneath Gilliland. He's got the run to the line. Chandler Smith will take halfway bonus for Kyle Busch Motorsports. Great job. Another spinner, Vince. This time, it's Grant Enfinger stopped up there. He's going to get that 98 back going. Another spin. Johnny Sauter around. We got one lap to go. Here comes Crafton with a run to the inside. Chandler Smith's got the preferred lane coming into the hairpin. I was going to chop him a little bit. Crafton hanging tough on the inside. Here they come back towards the oval. Contact is made. Oh, Chandler Smith, he might have a blown tire. Might just be a tire rub, though, because he's coming back. Now Crafton slowing as well. The 51 with a run to the back. One last chicane. What's going to happen? He boots the 88. Crafton, oh, back across into Chandler. Todd Gilliland's going to win. Oh, my goodness. Are you kidding me? I told you it was going to be chaotic. Chandler Smith, heavy damage as he crosses the line. Let's look at a replay. And Andy Lally just cleared out Johnny Sauter. But let's focus on this battle for the lead. Chandler Smith... Crafton makes a nice move through turn one. Now Smith, oh, he pinched him a little bit. I think Crafton wasn't too happy. He gives him a shot here. Gets him right in that left rear tire. That causes a tire rub. Wasn't down because Chandler Smith still had tons of speed. I think Crafton might have actually had more damage because he was slowing up. Yeah, and then Chandler Smith just sends it in. Boots him. Crafton tries to overcorrect. It goes right in front of him. That is insane. And Todd Gillen gets one of the luckiest wins of his career. It's his first career Liberty Mutual Truck Series win, and it comes in crazy fashion, threading the needle as the leaders crash. And he barely, Crafton almost won the race spinning backwards. Some chats between these two. Oh, we got another fight further down pit road. Oh man, it's Johnny Sauter and Andy Lally. All these veterans, these are some old timers. Calm down, boys, don't want to pull a hammy. And all of that drama is happening as Todd Gilliland celebrates. And that's how it happened, and Trip, this was certainly a wild event. Oh man, and I mean, what surprises you? 11 drivers, never run on this track before. Crazy finish, I can't believe Todd Gillen made it through there, but a lot of bad blood, and next race for the truck series is going to be at Martinsville, so these tempers are going to continue to flare. A look at the standings, the top four that would make the championship right now, Gilliland, Creed, Crafton, 
And Skip McGinn is still up there after finishing last in this one. Good job, Skip, hanging in there. But that all ended here. Daytona 500 qualifying is next for Trip. I'm Vince here on WUB Network.